Welcome, my name is Lisa Bush. I'm an employee at Baylor's Mayborn Museum, and I'm glad you joined me today to learn about how to make a tree cookie table. Now, due to the equipment used, this how-to is intended for adults only. To make a tree cookie table, you will need a tree cookie. Now, these can be purchased online. Um, you will need a sander. You're gonna need epoxy, packing tape, plastic syringe, mixing cups, spoons, a jig if you are making the tree cookie yourself in order to level it, a plastic tarp or trash bag, polycrylic spray protectant, hairpin table legs, flange screw insert, and screws. This table will take several days to make. Now the factors are gonna depend on supplies and weather conditions. So for example, the epoxy resin must be mixed in weather that is 70 degrees or higher. The first thing that you're gonna to need to do is acquire a tree cookie. Now you can slice the tree into sections yourself, and as you'll notice, it's not gonna be very level, or you can purchase these already online um, and they will be leveled. Um, if you are doing this yourself, um, don't worry if it's not level because you can create a jig to level out your tree cookie if needed. Once your tree cookie is good and level, you're going to want to sand it down to make it really smooth and you want to clean it up before applying any epoxy. Since I used uh, my own tree cookies, instead of ordering them, I needed to level them. So here you can see that I created a jig that I could run my router across to ensure that my tree cookie was flat and level. Again, you don't have to do this. You can purchase your tree cookie already made from the store. After your tree cookie is level and cleaned off, you're gonna cover the backside of the tree cookie with tape. Um, and then you're also gonna cover the surface of your working area with some type of tarp uh, or a plastic trash bag. For the next step, you'll need to mix uh, paint in your resin. I'm using a powdered paint. So you have to measure out parts A and B of your uh, epoxy resin, and then you mix those two pieces together with your powdered paint. Um, and you mix it together quite a bit um, and, and uh, ensure that you have equal amounts of parts A and B of the epoxy resin to ensure that it will harden correctly. Here you can see I'm applying the epoxy resin uh, into the cracks of my tree cookie. This took several days uh, and was quite messy. So what I would do is I would put a little bit at a time into the tree in the cracks. Um, you'll have to keep adding it because the, the cracks will just keep absorbing it and keep absorbing it. The packing tape on the bottom keeps it from running out, um, but this then allows you to fill the crack. I would fill it a quarter an inch at a time. Sometimes I just filled it um, quite a bit, maybe half an inch. Um, sometimes you'll notice some bubbles come to the top, but you remove those with um, either a blow dryer or a torch. So again, here you can see that it would get quite messy with the epoxy resin. At some point I tried to smear um, some off the top. Um, no problems if this looks really bad at this point because you're gonna sand all of this off. Um, and then once everything is cured, um, uh, you know, I poured a, a enough layers and it looked good, then I know I'm ready for the next step. Um, but just again, a reminder that if you do have bubbles, you can use a heat gun, a torch, or a um, hairdryer even to get some of the bubbles out of the epoxy so that it doesn't harden with a bunch of little bubbles in the center. After the epoxy um, is all completely cured, then you spend quite a bit of time sanding your table. You wanna sand off all the excess epoxy, but also you want your table to be quite smooth. And I would highly recommend wearing some type of mask so that you're not breathing in the particles of the epoxy and the wood as you're sanding. So um, after I get it smooth, I clean it up again, and then I finish the table with either some type of oil or a varnish. In this case, um, I did use a Minwax polycrylic protective finish, and um, it comes in a glossy or a matte finish. 
I chose the glossy finish for mine. To ensure that my table was really well protected, I used three coats of polycrylic finish. You can paint the polycrylic on. I really prefer to use a spray polycrylic, which you can order from Amazon. Um, it was very easy to do and worked quite well. Now that you're done with the table part of it, it is time to attach the legs. Um, here are some of the supplies that I used. You do not have to use these. The hairpin legs themselves came with their own screws. I preferred to use um, these little um, insert nuts, the little flanged screw insert nut, because it will allow me to remove the legs um, and replace them if I would like to. Um, it's a, just a little bit easier way to do it. You, again, don't have to do that. Um, it's an extra expense uh, that's not really necessary, um, but just wanted you to know that it was an option. So here you can see I was drilling in the flange screw with an uh, insert. And so um, this was, it did take a lot of manpower to do this. Um, and so um, once I got them in though, I, I'm really, I was really glad I did um, because it will again allow me to attach legs and remove them when needed. And here you see the final table. Um, it turned out um, pretty good for my first time and I'm really excited about using the epoxy to fill the cracks um, with a little bit of color. I think it, it added a nice little touch. Um, I hope you can use this to inspire you to possibly make your own tree cookie table.